We live in a time of both progress and uncertainty. The world around us is changing rapidly, and with these changes come both opportunities and challenges. As we navigate this complex landscape, it's important to recognize the strides we've made and the obstacles that still lie ahead. On one hand, we've seen incredible strides in LGBTQ rights, the visibility and acceptance of LGBTQ plus individuals in various sectors of society have grown significantly. This progress is evident in the way companies celebrate diversity and inclusion, often participating in pride parades and hosting events that honor their LGBTQ plus employees. Marriage equality is the law of the land. This landmark achievement has allowed countless same-sex couples to celebrate their love and commitment openly. The joy and recognition that come with marriage equality have been life-changing for many. More and more people feel comfortable living openly and authentically. In workplaces across the country, employees are expressing their true selves without fear of discrimination. Pride-themed accessories and inclusive policies are becoming the norm, fostering a sense of belonging and acceptance. But on the other hand, we're seeing a disturbing trend. Despite the progress, there is a growing backlash against LGBTQ rights. This backlash is not just limited to fringe groups, it is gaining traction in mainstream society. There's a backlash against LGBTQ rights, and it's happening right in the heart of corporate America. Companies that once stood as beacons of diversity and inclusion are now facing intense scrutiny and pressure to roll back their commitments. Companies that once championed diversity and inclusion are now scaling back their commitments. This shift is often driven by external pressures, including vocal opposition from conservative groups and political figures. They're facing pressure from conservative groups and lawmakers. These groups are pushing for policies and practices that undermine the progress made in LGBTQ rights, creating a climate of fear and uncertainty. This is a critical moment for LGBTQ rights, Activists and allies are rallying to defend the hard-won gains and to push for further progress. The voices of those who advocate for equality are more important than ever. We need to ask ourselves, are we moving forward or backward? The decisions made in corporate boardrooms and legislative halls will have far-reaching implications. It's a time for reflection and action. What happens in corporate America has a ripple effect on society as a whole. The policies and practices adopted by major corporations can influence public opinion and set trends that extend beyond the workplace. Corporations have the power to shape norms and influence public opinion. When they take a stand for equality, it sends a powerful message that resonates throughout society. Their support can help drive positive change and foster a more inclusive environment. When they take a stand for equality, it sends a powerful message. It shows that they value all their employees and are committed to creating a workplace where everyone can thrive. This commitment to equality can inspire other organizations to follow suit. But when they back down in the face of pressure, it emboldens those who want to turn back the clock. It sends a signal that progress is fragile and can be easily undone. This is why it's crucial for corporations to remain steadfast in their support for LGBTQ rights, even in the face of opposition. Marty Chavez is the former CFO of Goldman Sachs. He's one of the most successful openly gay executives in the world. My story is an example of how far we've come. I rose to the top of my field at a time when being openly gay was still taboo, especially in the financial industry. His success is a testament to his talent and hard work. It also shows that corporate America can be a place where LGBTQ people can thrive. But Chavez's story is also a reminder of how fragile progress can be. In recent years, there's been a growing backlash against diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. These programs are designed to create more inclusive workplaces for everyone, including LGBTQ people. They often include things like hiring quotas, sensitivity training, and affinity groups. Critics argue that DEI initiatives are discriminatory, divisive, and unnecessary. They say that companies should focus on hiring the best qualified candidates regardless of their race, gender, or sexual orientation. Some even go so far as to call DI programs reverse racism. This backlash is having a real impact on corporate America. Companies are feeling the pressure to distance themselves from DEI initiatives. They're afraid of being targeted by conservative groups or facing lawsuits. Some companies are even eliminating their DEI departments altogether. 
This shift is happening at a time when LGBTQ plus rights are already under attack. State legislatures across the country are introducing and passing anti-LGBTQ plus bills. These bills target transgender youth, limit access to health care, and censor LGBTQ plus content in schools. Section 5. Erosion of LGBTQ plus rights. The erosion of LGBTQ plus rights in corporate America is deeply concerning. It's a sign that we're moving backward, not forward. When companies back down from their commitments to diversity and inclusion, it sends a message that LGBTQ plus employees are not valued or respected. It also creates a hostile work environment for LGBTQ plus people. They may feel like they have to hide their identities or risk being discriminated against. This can have a devastating impact on their mental health and well-being. Section 6. The Human Cost of Discrimination Discrimination in any form, whether based on race, gender, sexual orientation, or any other characteristic, has profound and far-reaching consequences. It's important to remember that this is not just an abstract issue. It's not just about policies or laws. It's about the daily experiences of real people. This is about real people's lives. Every act of discrimination chips away at someone's sense of self-worth and belonging. LGBTQ plus people are just as deserving of respect, dignity, and equal treatment as anyone else. They contribute to our workplaces, our communities, and our society in countless ways. When they are discriminated against, it hurts them and it hurts all of us. It creates a culture of fear and exclusion, which stifles creativity and innovation. We need to ask ourselves, what kind of society do we want to live in? Do we want a society where people are marginalized and oppressed, or one where everyone has the opportunity to thrive? Do we want to live in a society where people are judged based on their sexual orientation or gender identity? Or do we want to create an environment where diversity is celebrated and everyone feels valued? Or do we want to live in a society where everyone is treated with respect and dignity? The choice is ours, and it starts with each of us taking a stand against discrimination in all its forms. Section 7. The Importance of Visibility One of the most powerful things we can do to combat this backlash is to continue to be visible. Visibility is not just about being seen, it's about being heard and acknowledged in every space we occupy. We need to share our stories, our personal experiences, our struggles and our triumphs. These stories humanize us and create connections with those who might not understand our journey. We need to be out and proud. Celebrating our identities openly sends a powerful message of resilience and pride. It shows that we are not ashamed of who we are. When we are visible, we show the world that we are here, we are queer, and we are not going anywhere. Our presence in every facet of life, from corporate offices to community events, is a testament to our strength and determination. Visibility can be difficult, especially in a climate where LGBTQ plus rights are under attack. The fear of discrimination and prejudice can be overwhelming, but it is more important than ever. In times of adversity, our visibility becomes a beacon of hope for others who may be struggling in silence. When we are visible, we challenge stereotypes and misconceptions. We break down the barriers of ignorance and fear, paving the way for a more inclusive and understanding society. We show the world that LGBTQ plus people are just like everyone else. We are professionals, friends, family members, and community leaders. Our contributions are invaluable, and our presence enriches the fabric of society. Section 8. Corporate Responsibility – A Call to Action Corporations have a responsibility to speak out against this backlash. They need to use their platforms to promote equality and inclusion. They need to stand up for their LGBTQ plus employees, customers and shareholders. Silence is complicity. Companies need to put their money where their mouths are. They need to invest in DEI initiatives. They need to create inclusive workplaces where everyone feels safe and respected. They need to hold their employees accountable for discriminatory behavior. Section 9. The Power of Consumers Consumers also have a role to play. We need to support companies that are committed to diversity and inclusion. We need to boycott companies that discriminate against LGBTQ plus people. We need to make our voices heard. We can vote with our wallets. 
we can choose to support businesses that align with our values, we can contact companies and let them know that we care about LGBTQ plus rights, we can make a difference. Section 10. The Future of LGBTQ Plus Rights